know, loaded him time and time in the paper, he wants to cut it, but I'm not, because he really um, understands what it means to run a city, um, a diverse city like the city of Elizabeth, with about 200 different languages and many cultures coming together to be one. To be the mayor of um, Elizabeth, where New Jersey first began 350 years ago, says a lot. So let's give him a hand as he comes.
You know, when the initial deadline was approaching to enroll for the Affordable Care Act, multilingual certified navigators were trained by this city, and they were on hand to help the residents. They provided guidance. They have enabled potentially life-saving connections. And at the end of the year was approaching, there were some within our community that had not enrolled. But they may have wanted to renew or change their current plan. So Enroll Elizabeth was presented as a free event in conjunction with Shaping Elizabeth, Get Covered and Heard, Planned Parenthood, Health Insurance, SRA Today, the YWCA and Wellcare, providing one-on-one -on -one interactions with qualified professionals who answered questions, explained the benefits, their rights, the protections that were offered within each plan, and together with community members, hundreds were assisted with registration, ideas were shared, and how we more effectively connect with residents. Our public health nurses provide the protections that many in our city need to stay well, maintain their strength, live full and productive lives, help 344 clients at the STD clinic, administered over 600 adult flu shots, provided more than 700 immunizations.
Montgomery neighborhoods, the Public Works Department is planting more than 200 trees throughout Union County, throughout Elizabeth. They've completed more than 7,400 hours of work for clean communities, connected with local churches and schools, providing assistance with recycling, special cleanup projects, maintaining our streets, includes enhancing and improving infrastructure to support current connections to services as well as future developments. The South Street Flood Control Project, new pumps, separate storm sewers, reducing flooding in Trumbull and Sixth Streets, road resurfacing, reconstruction, the rehabilitation of Recreation Pier and Veterans Memorial Park. And we're going to bring back the fireworks on July 4th after that. Connections is 
vital on every level. But when, when it comes to your health and your family, connecting to knowledgeable physicians, receiving effective treatment, having access to the latest innovation can be life-serving. The talented medical professionals at Trinitas Regional Medical Center continues to administer services, improve departments, and develop new locations to develop the best in health care. Breast Cancer Patient Navigation Program helping more than 100 women. Dedicated a new $5.2 million, 9,500 square foot ambulatory surgery center. Began an $18 million renovation and expansion of emergency department, which will double the treatment beds and streamline the care. will provide a better equipped emergency room and to accommodate 72,000 emergency visits each year. When you do not feel well or are facing challenges, everything in your life is impacted. It is during these times that support is most needed. Community Development Platform, CDBG, celebrated its 40th anniversary and along with the Emergency Solutions Grant continues to be a catalyst for change and for assistance. From help with child care to job placement and training, CDBG continues to make the delivery of quality services possible within our neighborhoods. themselves 
by finding more ways to connect with the community. New initiatives include the Elizabeth Avenue Restaurant Tour, of which I'll be on. Reimagining utility boxes by painting murals as part of the city art program. Working with PSC and G to incorporate more lighting. Elizabeth Avenue had quite a year, and so is our Midtown SID. The annual car show, connecting the vehicle enthusiasts. Power washing initiative, restoring the appearance of shops. Signing the facade program, helping stores better advertise, promoting a more uniform look. But connecting what is being done at home with the world requires us to find new mediums to market services, use technology as a platform to raise awareness, demonstrate through social media what people may be missing. And now, more than ever, connections are made online with thoughts and comments related, photos shared, updates provided through our Facebook, Twitter, Nixle, along with city and youth websites have become popular forums to exchange ideas, notify the community, stay connected. And we have Elizabeth's, a municipal Instagram as well, to highlight our efforts. Li local food, neighborhood participation. I even asked my daughter Jackie who's here to make sure she follows us on Instagram. She's probably on it right now. Thank you, Jackie, for the For our residents who may not be online but want to stay connected, a new 24-hour cable chat has been established. On Channel 39, Fires 1, it will offer all-day access to the services provided within the city of Lisbon, including our city television show, community boards, information about events and programs. Elizabeth is known for our historic significance, contributions as a transportation and economic hub, and notable figures who call our city their home. From Judy Bloom and Joe Long to Admiral William Walsh, many who are part of our community have gone on to achieve great things, and through their efforts, have touched the lives of millions. Although today they may live elsewhere, they, their connection to our community remains strong. And now, a famous chef and restaurateur, it is that he had, that brought back Tom Clickio back to star in our newest marketing video, which supports local dining establishments, emphasizes that some of the greatest food can be found right here, best shared with friends and family. We learn very good. The penalty, the story, nuance, with all kinds of home, even the justice. So we're celebrating for all that we've left untouched and all that we've changed. It's a place for the past and future. So consider this for everything. We've been celebrating here on this trip for 350 years. We had fun doing that for our services. When the Elizabeth Destination Marketing Organization, the Greater Elizabeth Chamber of Commerce, they've been generating and renewing interest in our city. They've created a brand identity, attracting new visitors, increasing stays in hotels and shopping centers, and with more people going to the outdoor collection of Jersey Gardens and eating in our business districts, attending school, safety and security remain a priority. And this month, four new police officers will be hired. All are veterans. Thank you. More hours of tactical decision making. 61 members have been certified to administer the life saving drug Narcan in overdose situations. All people deserve to live long and productive lives. And when it comes to our youth, safeguards are helping to keep them on the right track and achieve success. The Juvenile Curfew Program provides assistance to reduce undesirable activity. 
working with the recreation department, counselors, and evening activities were made available at Edgelake and Miller Edwards Logan, offering alternatives to have a positive impact on our community. And those services increase options, connect government and residents, and it really sets us apart. The Elizabeth Fire Department continues to connect with residents and meet the needs through education, inspections, response, and when an emergency call comes in, having the proper equipment and vehicles can make all the difference. In addressing issues, securing the scene, and determining the best course of action, this year, three new ambulances will be purchased for the fire department, increasing the current fleet, supporting emergency medical professionals, providing quicker and additional services. We are also better equipped to address hazardous material bed, a phone delivery unit, chemical support unit, quick attack unit, all funded through port security grants. <laughs> the answer to the unexpected makes our city more prepared to provide the help that is needed. It includes enhancing our capacity to produce a rapid and powerful defense against fires. We have a 2,000 gallon per minute fire trench rescue, extrication equipment, battery operated positive pressure fed, increasing carbon monoxide exposure to our firefighters. It is because of projects, initiatives, advancement, sound financial planning, and the responsible application of resources that the Moody's Investor Service has affirmed the City of Elizabeth's upgrade to a AA3 rating with a positive outcome. <laughs> from our municipal departments to our local partners, and many of you are here today, we are building, reinforcing, improving connections to make our city more resilient, more prepared, more able to assist, Creating a connection is more than just extending a helping hand, directing someone, or having places to go. It is also about providing the personal attention, investing in our residents, applying innovation to improve accessibility and realize possibilities. President John S. Kennedy once said, efforts and courage are not enough without purpose and direction. The state of our city is strong and we continue to serve with purpose to deliver results and move forward toward a bright and promising future. May God bless the city of Elizabeth. May God bless the United States of America.